Hello everyone, and welcome back to Why Would You Put That on the Internet, Season 3, which is just another way of saying I took an extremely long break, so why not say that it was like a season thing, and we can make up for it in that way, and people won't be as pissed off, but they will be as pissed off because I'm kind of explaining the whole thing right now, stupidly enough. So welcome back. Yes, we're going to be doing this regularly again. That's right, folks. I'm going to bring you through all the the shit the internet has to offer, even in this terrible YouTube climate, I'm committing to you in a way that may be very uncomfortable at first, but once you've done it a few times, it just gets wet like that. So anyway, let's begin. Karma catches up with everybody. That's what some people think. I, I, I don't think that's necessarily true. I mean, sometimes maybe it could, but karma's not the only thing, folks. What goes around comes back around. Caramel is a bitch. Honestly, I, I would kind of agree with that. Caramel is not my favorite, but I would say the biggest bitch is molasses chew. Anybody eating those boxes of candies? If you haven't, then you must be living in a fucking cave, some subterranean habitat somewhere in some scientist's laboratory or something. Everyone's had one. But you, you'll go through the tray and you specifically look at, at the code, like, okay, what's what? It's just so you don't get the molasses chew. And if there are any of you in the comments who are like, hey, bro, I like molasses chew. That's like my favorite one. You are worse than a pedophile to me. To me, you are. Maybe not to the judicial system, <laughs> but, but in the in the court of my fucking opinion, you are an asshole, like of the worst variety. Kind of like molasses chew is the asshole of chocolates variety. That's what I'm. Th that's what I'm talking about. All right, shit's about to get flucked up. Yeah, you heard me right. It's real flucked up when someone teaches you to be something they say they are to make themselves feel better, like they someone that can get you fucked up thing, thing, they disapper, they disapper out your life and didn't got cha back no more. And you really ain't part a shit that whiz really have you feeling some type of way pissed off to foe. Yeah, so don't... <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, just don't, I guess. Whatever the fuck this guy was saying. Just don't do it. This person needs help. Normally people would go to a doctor for this. Something terrible happens, you wake up and you're like, oh my God, this horrible thing's happening. I better go to the doctor. It's clearly a medical issue. No. Every now and then you get a smarty pants who just goes to Facebook. Help, please comment. I have been having some really bad stomach pains and they real key hurt. Painful been waking me up at the middle of the night. What can I do or what should I do? What's causing this? Is it what I'm eating? Is it my new medication? I'm shocked she's, she spelled medication correctly. Is it cramps? How the fuck are we supposed to know that? Are you on your P period? Peer P P? PP period, your gushing time? The time of Red Rivers? <laughs> Sorry. I know the new medication, the side effect says amdomal pains. I was, and it did not say anything about this. I for a red itchy rash. It hurts, am's sore. Called my doctor, oh, oh good, <laughs> and gave me a tropical cream. Like, Pineapples and palm trees? That's, that's fucking cute. To put on whist shooked slash can I do about the stomach owains? They are ambdomal. They wake me up a night. Please help. Please comment. Thanks. And a shit ton of fucking emojis that it probably took her like 15 minutes to add in in that sequence. And that's really great for her. Um, well... I think the only thing you can do at this point is die, you know, and honestly, if you watch enough of my channel, you'll, you'll probably figure you're getting an easy out. Like it could be so much worse. Like life just sucks. Thanks YouTube. Bitch. Have you ever had to take a shit? Has your significant other ever had to take a pee pee? 
while you're taking a shit. Or maybe they don't, but you're demanding that it happen anyway because you're a freak. Well, maybe this is this is you. My boyfriend has been trying forever to get us to use the bathroom together because he claims it's a couple's thing. And I would never do it, but I had to pee so bad and he was trying to shit. He didn't start yet though. So he's been sitting there for about 10 minutes now. Fucking boys. So he talked me into it. So here is our couples going to them, not just, just continue reading, just don't even care anymore. It's just, there's the photo of it uh, happening and she's clearly embarrassed by it. And, um, but she's doing it. You, you did it. So you're a freak. I'm sorry. You shouldn't do, you shouldn't be that much of a people pleaser. People who are that much of a people pleaser, they're just asking for trouble, okay? You're taking a piss between your boyfriend's legs while shit is coming out of his ass. It's, it's hanging out, it's flopping like a salmon and it's just gonna kerplop and you smell it. It's breaching, it's crowning and you can smell it in the air and you're peeing and you're letting all that poop stink all, all over your pussy. And I don't think that's right. I think that's very wrong. And I think you're what gonna, you're gonna wake up with some abdominal pains if you don't watch out. Cause if it splashes some poop water up in your vag, you're, you're screwed people these days. People these days, I swear, they're stupid. Uh, are you sad? Do you need something? I think we all need a little something, don't we? All of us. Well, someone's got a solution for you, I think. And it, um, yeah, they got one for you there. You sad? Go get some dick. You stressed? Go get some dick. You hungry? Go get some dick. Dick is the answer to all your problems. Amen. What if I'm pregnant and I'm not ready for it? What if I'm incredibly fertile and I'm just really sick of it? What if I don't want to have a baby, but I'm allergic to every form of birth control there is? What should I do then? If I'm a woman, of course, not a man, because the man, the gay pregnancy doesn't happen. I mean, it's 2018, of course, you know, men can have babies now, but really biologically it's, you know, there's different organs set up there. So, um, depends on what you're assigned at birth. So, um, let's just not get into all that right now. I, I don't even want to, let's just, just get some dick people. Just get some dick. I'm going to go get some fucking dick. I'm getting some dick. <sighs> there's no better thing than a good bargain. I'll tell you that brown wooden coffin free. Just a free brown wooden coffin. I'm assuming brown wooden means like natural wood color because it doesn't look any more brown than what a natural wood color would be. And this looks like Nosferatu fucking vampire coffin bullshit right here. But it's free, so go meet this weird fucking guy and go pick up a fucking coffin that he's probably going to put your body in. Probably going to happen that way. So enjoy. And if you go and pick this up, you were asking for it. That's called natural selection, baby. And you, you, you deserved it. You deserved it, you fucking son of a bitch. Learning is fun, isn't it? Learning is just so much fun. Just found out a bear is a real thing. Genuinely thought was a made up animal for stories and teddies. I would assume that this person is one, maybe two years old, two months old. And, but the typing, it's actually a lot better than what you'd expect. So, um, okay, next one. All right, everybody. It's that time again. Oh yes. You've been waiting for it so patiently too, baby. And we're here for you. It's that time for Rob's rejects are you an animal in the bedroom well then you might be the person or animal for this person or animal hi all thanks for stopping by i'm a young 24 year old pre-op transgender women seeking friends and maybe more hopefully i'm into something out of the ordinary called bestiality just in case you didn't know what that was already. 
like everyone ever. But apparently some people don't know what bears are, so I guess they're fuck, fucking whatever. My type of guy is a guy with a short beard slash stubble and with a decent body on him, winky face. So what do you guys think? You up for the challenge? Basically looking for a guy that looks like an animal to hold her over so she doesn't fuck an animal or she's planning she's still gonna fuck an animal and probably gonna get an animal involved in the bedroom with you so if that's what you're all about you just yeah they're they're available oh, black people have so many uses they really really do that's not racist of me to say like legitimately that was a nice obvious thing to say but you know it just that doesn't mean I would see Black Panther without someone there with me to back me up. You know, you know what I'm saying. Looking for chill black dude to see Black Panther with. 420 friendly. I'm an equality minded normal white guy in his late 20s looking to see the new Black Panther movie in theater. I want to see it in a black neighborhood at nine at night. Oh, <laughs> buddy. Whoa. Oh, oh, man. That's that. You're asking for it. <sighs> With black people for the sake of immersion. Problem is, I don't have any black friends and can't make black friends on such short notice. It is, black black friends do typically have like a like an eight week turnaround before they actually become your friend. It's, it's sad, it really is, but that's just their nature. <laughs> you know, you can't stop it. That's where you come in. I'll pay for tickets, drink slash food, and throw in 20 bucks for gas. Would be really cool if we could take some selfies during or afterwards so I can show my friends me chilling with a black male in action. Ah. Uh. All right. No gay shit. Sure. Nothing sexual. Okay. Nothing weird, just to be clear. 420 friendly, we can take bong hits in my car before the movie hit me up. And maybe it might not be a bong that you put into your lips every time, but who the hell knows? Maybe it is, maybe it's not, maybe it's a dick. Maybe that ain't smoke. Maybe that's, you're milking something else. You know, you ain't milking the bong, you're milking the, someone's penis. But anyway, this guy is fucking stupid. But if you want him, there you go. You know, women just saying no is so damn pesky. I, I can't stand it. It just puts an absolute buzzkill on the entire evening. But you don't have to worry about that anymore, ladies, because we got something for you. This guy's name is Toby, and he says they can't say no when they're stunned. Cool. You're a rapist. Are you looking for someone to clean up your house while also performing sexual favors for you? But not really claiming that they're going to, but that's clearly what they're going to do. Really? I mean, come on, let's, let's stop fucking around here. Housekeeping. Free. I'm new to the area and looking for houses to clean. $10 an hour or $15 an hour. That's not free at all. That's money. That costs something. That's the opposite of free. So it's $15 an hour for deep cleaning. Hmm. I do it all. And then that photo. Uh, yeah, that's def definitely does it all. She'll clean the semen right out of your penis. <laughs> so, go for it, people. Fuck. Fuck me. Ah, uh, this feels good to be back. Fuck. Get ready for Mitchy. This one's, this one's name is Mitchy. Likes traveling the world because I love talking to foreign people. German, so I love a good bratwurst. Hashtag no homo. And please don't be fat in real life. So you can be fat online, that's fine. He's into that. But uh, if when it comes to the real life stuff, when it comes to actually having sex with you, please don't. Just don't be fat. That's gross. Nasty. And we got more animals for and stuff, animal lovers. Okay, this is going to sound very strange, but I am an interspecies animal enthusiast. That's an interesting way of saying animal rapist. And I feel like I am just not meant to have a normal life and a normal child. I am looking for a horse owner that is willing to let me breed with his horse in the coming eclipse <laughs> so that I can get pregnant and have a baby that is really something to be proud of. This is not a joke. Okay. Please message me with serious offers. I am willing to pay $500 to $1,000 depending on the breed of the horse. And yes, because you were probably wondering, 
I do practice with my dogs. Okay, I was gonna say, yeah, you could fuck my horse, but how do I know that you're any good at it? Have you done it with a dog? No, then you're out of here, but good to know that you fucked a dog or two. Dogs, plural, so yeah, you definitely fucked a few dogs. So that's great, uh, awesome. So if you, got, if you want the horse fucker, or you are a horse watching this right now, uh, if there's a horse watching this right now, if someone has a horse, take a photo of the horse watching this episode. I will laugh my balls off. I think that'd be so fucking funny, especially at this part. And, uh, don't, don't fuck the horse on camera, please. And that's it for Rob's Rejects. And now, back to the episode. Oh, yeah, you like that, you little bitch? Ah, <sighs> there's nothing better than a nice family photo, don't you think? And here's a nice family just hanging out, taking a selfie in the mirror, two upstanding parents. How sweet, just so sweet. And then when you just pan on down to the counter, you see what looks to be a spoon. How interesting. Next to what well, looks like a syringe. Oh, oh, that's really nice. Good family, wholesome family activities. Uh, you know, just heroin or whatever it may be. No judgments here. No judgments for me, but you are a fucking sick fuck. Pair of sick fucks. You are a two for one special. You're a BOGO. Buy one, get one free. Fucking sick fucks. But uh, I'm glad. Thank you for providing me with a, a photo for my channel, uh, of my episode. I appreciate it very much. Thank you for taking one for the team. Now, uh, suit up, bitch. Marvel has been kicking ass lately. So naturally that would inspire some tattoos. Like this one right here. Beautiful. You got the Hulk, you got Superman, definitely a Marvel favorite. Batman, awesome Marvel guy. Wolverine and Iron Man. Yeah, I, I love the addition of Superman and Batman. Um, they just are really just great Marvel characters. Do you get the joke? I'm, I'm, I'm being facetious. The DC Comics, what the fuck? If this is real, if this actually happened, you're a dipshit. A fake ass dip shit, fake ass dip shit. You should be a superhero named fake ass dip shit. That should be your superhero name. And speaking of superheroes, I already know people are gonna say this is stupid, but listen before you jug. Cause I just finished watching the Avengers and I was thinking about how fucked up the world is at the minute with terrorists and shit so why doesn't the government government start producing superheroes if they pick a bunch of orphans and train them from babies in combat and inject them with different stuff like radioactivity and steroids and shit and make were them ultimate fighters because they'll already be angry about having no parents so all they'll need is training and injections then we could just then we can then we can use them against ISIS and robbers and rapists. Maybe that's what those parents in the selfie were trying to do. Maybe they were just making a superhero out of their kid. Maybe those weren't the parents at all. Maybe that was a little orphan girl. And they were going to inject her and make her into a superhero to help fight crime. Like rapists. Like, I don't know. What does a rapist look like? Uh, I don't know. Nothing's really coming to mind. Who looks like they'd get you liquored up and then fuck the hell out of you? And then be like, no, I didn't. I don't remember that. She wanted it. Uh, I who would, who would do that? I don't know. I just, I can't get a mental picture of fucking one. Christmas time can be a bitch for a lot of families. Uh, and that's completely true. It can be. It could be just a horrible thing because uh, parents, a lot of parents don't make proper money. And, um, you know, and, and that can just really influence a lot of things in a very negative type of way. And then there are other people. Looks like I won't be able to give my kids a Christmas this year. And I'm not looking forward to these three little faces. That's going to be confused and sad. I'm so lost right now. I can't even stop crying. Broken heart, broken heart. And a few people offer suggestions like try signing up through Goodfellow slash Toys for Tots. And someone says, what's wrong? And then she says, my DHS worker, Department of Homeland Security? Maybe it's human services. Hmm. Who knows? My DHS worker cut my cash off. Why out of all months at Christmas time when that's all the income I have, I'm hurting bad. 
And yeah, that sucks. But earlier she posted candy bars HML, which I'm assuming something to do with drugs because there's a pill and an okay. Like, hit me up. Candy bars. Hit, hit, but I thought HML was hate my life. Maybe she was trying. The L and the U are kind of close on the keyboard a little bit. Maybe she was high when she was typing. I don't know. But then even before that, she posted this. I want to go to the casino. I wonder why your kids don't... <laughs> why is your Department of Homeland Security agent cutting your money off? I don't get it. Maybe it's because you're taking money and blowing it at a fucking casino and selling and or buying drugs? I, I don't know. And you're posting about it publicly? Oh no, what happened? Those poor kids. Yeah, they're going to be confused as fuck when they see that mommy's going to fucking prison because she's a stupid bitch. Get your life together. Okay. Becky. Yeah, I said it. Becky. Becky. I actually don't know what this person's name is, so I don't. I'm just projecting. Okay. Some people don't get how the world works and that's okay. Holy shit. How dumb can you be? Do, do, do. feel like everybody should watch this and use your vote. I don't know how a country that prints its own money is in debt and has poverty. That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. You're dumb. A virginity is a precious thing to a lot of people, men and women and everything in between. Virginity can be just really something important to someone. But what about virginities? You ever think about that? Girls be losing their virginities in middle school and try to judge other people. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is virginity? You ever wake up and you're... Oh, mother of God. Woke up and my pussy was on that drip. Oh, Jesus. Great. Cool. Sick. Thanks for letting the whole internet know. And uh, because I figured you'd want that, I let I let a few hundred thousand people know who are watching this. Maybe over a million. We'll see where it gets to. That's good. Good. Very good. You're welcome. You're welcome. Have fun with your pussy on the drip. Would you ever have sex while breastfeeding? And I don't mean like you just happen to be breastfeeding like a baby and then you go have sex, you know, because it's like during your time. Yeah, I, I, I currently breastfeed, but I also do have sex. No, it's not like that. Would you ever have sex while breastfeeding? One vlogging mom did the deed and now she's speaking out about her decision. Mom defends her decision to breastfeed during sex. Oh my God. And if this... This is feminism. This is what it is. Uh, no, not all feminism, blah, blah, blah. but uh, wow, this is it. This is it now. I can, I got my baby right here. He's sucking on my titty. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that feels great. Yeah, yeah, fuck that pussy, fuck that pussy. Oh, shh, shh. Don't, don't say that, don't say that, baby. Baby's like, pussy, pussy. You know, I mean, learning words and seeing horrible things, becoming a sex offender. Then everyone goes, wow, where did it go wrong for that poor kid? Why is that kid getting into so much trouble in school? I don't know because he's been watching his mother and father fucking pound it out since he was fucking an infant. I, I don't know. God, kid's going to get older. They're just going to have sex on the fucking breakfast table and for school. Kid's like 16. He's like, can you please stop? It smells like vagina and jizz in here constantly. I'm eating my Cocoa Puffs. And they're just, just like, how are you eating Cocoa Puffs? And he's just like, I don't know, just with milk and Cocoa Puffs. They're like, we didn't have any milk left. And the kid's just like, you know? That was fucking disgusting, right? Sorry. But this is also disgusting. Gently squirted on couch, $45. <sighs> that doesn't look gently squirted on. I mean, maybe it came out gently, but a lot came out or maybe it came out gently numerous times in one spot and then another and then another and then another and another and another uh it looks like that has been thoroughly coated in squirt and i don't think they're talking about the soda i don't think talking about soda 
Uh, uh, <laughs> all right, everybody. Let's take a journey to somewhere that no one would ever want to go if they have a functional brain, a fully functional brain. Except for me, because I'll go there for you to extract some crazy shit. That's right. I've been to Tumblr Town. Ah, Tumblr. We can always depend on them to have some really outrageous fucking points of view. So, let's hear some. Eating disorders are fat shaming. If you have anorexia, bulimia, or any other eating disorder, you are implying that being fat is wrong, that fat people are ugly and horrible. There is nothing wrong with being fat, but there is something wrong with people using a disorder to shame fatness. You are horrible people, legitimately, just terrible. If you're suffering with an eating disorder, you you don't have enough to worry about, okay? You now need to worry about the fact that you're upsetting some fat person because they're like, wow, you really you thought it was so gross that you now have a fucking eating disorder. <laughs> Whole fucking eight foot long sub. <laughs> you have eating problems, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Leg. <laughs> You know what'd be nice if the internet was female only? Just picture it. No porn, no sexism, no harassment. It'd be the one thing in the world not corrupted by men. No porn and no sexism, really? Because I'm pretty sure females sexually harass females a lot. I'm not saying men don't, but they do. Uh, and they harass women constantly. Like, women are just brutal with other women. And uh, no porn? Really? Are you tell are you trying to tell me women don't don't look at porn? I mean maybe not as much as men, but maybe as much as men, maybe more. Who the fuck knows? If you're a woman who looks at porn, I want you to go in the description. Actually, I want you to go below that into the comments. Description ain't gonna help you. And I want you to fully admit, take the step and say, I am a woman and I watch porn. And then fist. <laughs> Not that you watch fisting stuff. I mean, if you do, it's disgusting. <laughs> Friendly reminder, it's okay to hate men. It's okay to want to kill all men. Oh, perfectly okay. It's okay to hate cishet people and want them dead. It's okay to hate white people. There's nothing wrong with hating privileged oppressors and there's nothing wrong with wanting them dead. To say otherwise is fucking oppressive. Hashtag kill white people, hashtag white people. Oh my God. Hashtag white tears, hashtag die, sis scum. Hashtag kill all men, hashtag misandry, misandry, mislaundry. Hashtag man hating, hashtag straight bashing, hashtag feminism, hashtag equality with over 13, almost 1400 notes. Fuck. <laughs> if you're ever down about being human, remember, remember. Remember, you're here to inform humans how animals really think that your kin exists. That's right, guys. We have just went into the other kin section here. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. We're going to touch on a little bit here. Maybe next time around, you'll be reborn as your kin. Or maybe you'll just fucking die and rot in the earth, and you won't be reborn as a fucking animal. Maybe, maybe, you were already that animal once in a past life and you'll never get to be that animal again and you're gonna be a fucking leaf next time. And maybe you've met some of your old friends while interacting with other, other kin. Hashtag other kin, hashtag other kin problems. Oh my God, hashtag feline kin, hashtag cat kin, hashtag wolf kin, hashtag mer kin, hashtag plant kin. Apparently the leaf thing might be true. Holy shit! Now this this guy thinks he's a Wendigo, you know, a cannibalistic spirit. Uh, so yeah, that's a you know that's a thing. You know that feeling when you look at raw meat and you're like, oh shit, that looks so tasty, but you can't eat it because the stupid human body wasn't made to eat raw meat. Hashtag Wendigo kin. Hashtag theory and hashtag other kin. Hashtag a bunch of shit I don't even want to fucking read. I think we've all kind of looked at fucking raw meat and we're just like, I wonder what that tastes like. And I I, I like my meat raw, like like rare, rare meat, really rare. And uh, some people think I'm disgusting for that, but I fucking love it. And 
I love it that way. Maybe I'm a Wendigo. Oh God, I'm changing. My hands! You're fucking dumb. And that's it from Tumblr Town for this time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's jump back into the fucking episode. Oh, help me, Lord! If you've seen this TV, please help. Stolen 55-inch Philips Smart TV. If anyone has seen, please contact me or Ash Taboola Sheriff, $1,000. And here's a photo of the TV in question and just the TV, nothing else to distract you from the television. That is it. That is the only photo of the TV that they have. It's a good one, nothing there to distract you. So if you've seen the TV, or if you've contacted the Department of Children and Families anytime recently, you be sure to give a shout. Get out of my way, bitch. Doesn't it just suck when your mom kicks you out of the house for doing nothing wrong? Isn't that stupid, mom? What the fuck? When your mom kicks you out of the house, thanks a lot, family my ass. And then someone comments, dude, you okay? If you need a place to crash, you could stay here. And then he says, I'll message you later, bro. And thanks for having my back. Just so pissed off because family are meant to have my back, but they don't. And then his mother jumps into the fray. I kicked you out of the house because your little sister is pregnant and you are the father. You are a disgrace. And after I respond to this silly status, it's just silly, just silliness at this point. I am blocking you of Facebook and you are never allowed back in my home again. How can you even have the audacity to post this? You are not my son anymore. You are a, you are fucking dead to me or something. I'm disgusted with you, blah, blah, blah. He responds, mom, do you realize how you have made me feel? Does she even know? You have just fucking outed all of your personal shit into the open and you think that's okay? Fuck you, I don't even fucking care if I'm dead to you. What happened is between Jesse and I, and we explained everything that happened. You should have had my back. You're meant to be my mom, and you are treating me like a fucking criminal. Yeah, he's not a fucking criminal. But wait a minute, his mom comments again, you are a criminal. You committed incest, and not to mention your little sister is 15 and you are 31. It's fucking disgusting. I am ashamed I can't even show myself at the grocery store or anything because I feel so embarrassed. You have ruined this family and ruined your sister's life, and I do not care if the whole world sees this status because you don't deserve any sympathy. I wish I never gave birth to you. This is for the mom. Let's get it out there. Let's spread the word, people. Don't fuck your 15-year-old sister when you're 31. Or any age. Don't Just don't fuck your sister. Don't fuck your siblings. Don't fuck your family. In any sense, it's not right. It's just not right. It's not right at all. But family should always have your back and they should respect your decisions, okay? He's an adult. He's 31. He's an adult. I can see where he's coming from. I can see where he's coming from. Just kidding, I can't. What a fucking loser. And that's it for this episode of Why Would You Put That on the Internet. If you have something to submit, you can submit it to me either through my email or you can put it on Twitter with the hashtag WhipToddy. Uh, all that information is in the description below. Be sure to leave a comment and like on this video. I'd appreciate that more than anything in the entire world. Nothing could make me appreciate anything else more, but what I would appreciate even more than that, if you'd press on screen at the end of this video and subscribe to my channel, that would mean a lot to me. And just keep watching my videos, just keep doing it. We're back, we're back in action. Like a black man in action, we're back. No gay shit though, just bring me to a Black Panther movie and let's take some selfies after so I can show you off to all my friends. Because I want to go see Marvel with Superman and Batman, motherfucker. Hell yeah. Bitch tits. So here's the end screen. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Watch another video. And I'll see you next time.